So it's about 7.5 Celsius, around 45 Fahrenheit. Nice day. Just a little bit of cloud cover, just a, like a hazy stuff. We're making over 1200 watts, that's good. Anyway, we've decided that today's the day. Today's the day we're going to move the garden to its new location. Which means a couple things. One, it means moving all the pots, but it also means I gotta move the hose. And I don't think the hose is long enough for where we're going to. So I'm gonna have to buy another hose, but we'll see how far it stretches anyway. It's Saturday and City Girl is here, so this is a good time to do it. I, I don't mean because I'm gonna make her do all the work or anything like that, but just because she gets to be in the video. Yeah. Finding everything? Last video I talked about how beavers can make a really good walking stick. Nice piece of maple here. Freshly debarked. And it's got that beaver tooth uh, char character to it. So City Girl's going to use this and make a walking stick out of it. It's too tall and it's also too heavy, but if we cut it off around here, then that'll be a nice length for that. like that or like that like that or is it like this we'll okay so what are you doing I'm starting our seeds well sort of <laughs> and what did you forget? That we're not starting our seeds right now. Yeah, we're going to start them uh, like end of April, beginning of May. Three three weeks or so? Yeah, three weeks from now. Uh, you know, I was eager. Just getting a jump on it? Yep. <laughs> I was excited. Yep. All right.
hubris. Four more trips. Great. Survive! We're gonna survive on one tomato plant. Okay, what are you thinking? Well, I try and um, put it on as flat a surface as possible. There's uh, there's 15 of them in total. Right. Hmm. And the sprinkler's got to go right in the middle. Well, that's it. And. <laughs> The hose is going to go down there. Yeah, that's why I got the hose. I'm going to... Um, yeah. Try. I was thinking, like, would it be better right there? But Here? no. 
I'm not too sure about that. Um. Because then I was looking at the trees, right? I, I mean, it's fine here. Okay, so in the middle of summer, the sun's going to come up like this and go down behind that pine tree. Yep. So, ah, let's see how far the hose reaches first. Sure. And then we'll decide. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, just give a shout when it's, uh, the end is right there, near the bucket, I guess. Yep. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, you heard me. The gardener saboteur. I, I suggested that uh, <laughs> we could plant a few seeds in the pods. Uh, and if they don't grow, they don't grow, because we've got lots of right seeds. Right now? You're thinking right now, right? Yeah. Yes, so let's clarify that. <laughs> I am the gardener and There's no guarantee that, saboteur. Uh, that the temperature won't go below freezing, and then... Yeah, but they might not pop up before then. It might be okay. Well, I say it can't hurt to try. It's just a few seeds. And I said that I appreciated your enthusiasm for all of this. However, Mother Nature has other plans as far as weather patterns she's go. Still talking? He's still going to do it. Sunday, Sunday when I leave, I he's going to come anymore. back here in the evening and he's going to plant seeds. And he's not going to tell me. It's just going to be a secret. And then you know what's going to happen? He is then going is to, when talking? the seeds magically appear, he's going to say, ha, see, I told you. I think she's still talking. I'm not sure, though. Gardener saboteur. <sighs> yeah. Perfect. And there's a pump in here. Okay. While we were down here near the pond, um, we're city girl was just saying how nice it would be to put some chairs, like Muskoka chairs, out here or benches or whatever. And because it's just so beautiful pretty much everywhere you go here. Like right here, is this a good spot? This would be a really nice spot because you got the shade as you said, right? Yeah. So that way the sun isn't beating down on you. Yeah, it's nice and peaceful. Sit beside your favorite person. Aww. All right, let's go plant some seeds. <laughs> I didn't hear any of that stuff you were saying up above. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh, I guess we can go up this way. <laughs>
chance, brought six. No, can't read anything on this one either. Yeah? Did I put the hose backwards? Huh? Yeah? Did I put the hose backwards? Yeah, I think so, dear, because I can't screw this All on. Right. Are you ready to film the sprinkler coming on? Yep. You're not going to get wet, are you? What happened? Okay. Why did you turn the camera off for that? <laughs> oh, it's missing washer.
It's working. Okay, we're done. It's 3.20 p.m. Monday of the something. Anyway, the eclipse is happening right now. Camera is probably making it look a lot brighter than it is because it's auto-adjusting. In fact, it's my phone because I don't have another camera on me. It's also very cloudy. <laughs> so, as if it wasn't dark enough already. Yeah, but the eclipse should be happening like right now. Like the total eclipse, not the partial eclipse. We're a little bit north here. Of where you would get a total eclipse but it's just you're really dark and it got really silent too like all the birds just suddenly shut up there's peepers in that pond over there that are now quiet it's one of those i was watching the movie 2012 earlier <laughs> john cusack uh and other people i can't say that other guy's name Tweedle. Twill twill to four. Tweedle twill to four. I don't know his name. Anyway, it's eerily dark. And you can't even tell. I'll try and darken this for the uh, when I edit it. Holy man, it's dark. And why am I outside during a total eclipse? Hmm. Actually, it's a cool experience anyway. I didn't even think of it, honestly. I kind of remembered this morning it was a total eclipse and then nothing. Anyway, we're just out hiking. Just out hiking. Me and the snots. Wow. If I do it like this, does it look darker? Is it not something? No, it doesn't. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. Under these weird conditions. It's back to normal. You probably can't even tell, can you? <laughs> city Girl got a good shot of it from the city. Uh, I'll show you that. And we're going to keep hiking. There's a lone goose on the pond. Saw him yesterday. Swimming around, squawking every now and then. I can't say for certain, but either he's he didn't find a mate down south, or his mate was taken by predators, something like that. But I kind of feel sad for him. Like, what does he do all summer now? You know when. When all the other pairs of geese are all building nests and getting ready to lay eggs and hatch their young and then teach them how to forage and fly and, you know, that's what they do all summer long is they, you know, work on their families. What does this guy do? I assume it's a male. I, I don't know for sure, for certain. He's pretty big. 
But I, what is he? What is he gonna do all summer? Just kind of hang around and nothing. It, as I said, it's kind of sad. Gorgeous weather. Last couple of days, absolutely gorgeous. We hit the uh, batteries hit float mode every day and nice and sunny and it was for the first time in months it was warmer outside the cabin than inside yesterday i expect it's going to do the same today it's probably going to go up to 20 celsius 70 fahrenheit and then we get four days of rain so i should be a little careful about my electricity usage i should clean up around here too it's a mess but it's just so nice <laughs> My dock is almost completely underwater, too. Oh, well. I'm trying to sing a song, and I can't get the... <laughs> can't get the note. Anyway, um, this is bringing us to a, a very near end of this video. I'm going to show you City Girl's picture that she took. Um, she just kind of walked outside with her uh, iPhone and took the picture. Uh, very funny story that I'm not going to tell. Maybe if we Books Fest again, if and when our next Books Fest, I'll tell it. Um, but that was a pretty decent picture. I couldn't have taken, even if I'd been all set up to take pictures here, which I should have, really. We had, like, deep cloud cover at the moment of the totality. I would have missed all the good stuff. And, uh, because of the clouds. Anyway, my buddy Peter... Um, got some excellent pictures here. I'm gonna start putting them on the screen of uh, You know the moon slowly sliding across the Sun and you can see some Sunspots in there too, which are pretty neat, but the totality is the most interesting picture where the moon completely blocks out the Sun and Look at the as I zoom in here. Look at the edge You can see the plumes of plasma coming off of the Sun and I think those take months to to kind of come out like that I could be wrong. I just looked briefly at his uh, at his explanation, but I thought those are pretty good pictures. Peter's pretty good with the camera. Um, he's really, really good with the camera, I should say. Uh, much better than I am. But he doesn't do video, and that's where the, that's where the what am I trying to say? The money is, or that's where the chicks dig you the most, or that's where the uh, <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, my chick digs me. Anyway, that's going to bring us to the, end, to, an end of, to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little shorter than last week's. Uh, and a lot of gardening going on. And don't tell City Girl I'm going to plant a few tomato seeds. The idea is, if they don't grow, they don't grow. Like, if it, we get a cold snap and they start to grow and they die because of the cold, so what? It's just a few seeds. I mean, they're literally sitting right here. City Girl put them out. Why does that say Honey Nut Cheerios? I don't know, we're not planting Cheerios. No, seriously, this is I need Cheerios uh, wildflower mix. Uh, beans. And we saved, this is something cool that we did too. We saved cucumber seeds. Um, big ass. Big ass? Big. <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't say big ass. It looks like big ass. Big pumpkin? Okay, big pumpkin. We got squash seeds in there. You see this? So we packed them, we dried them out, and then I packed them in paper towel to make sure that they continue to dry out. And a uh, small pumpkin. Right? So yeah, I'm not seeing the. Oh, there we go. Beefsteak tomato. There we go. Look at all the seeds in there. We could spare a few to plant, like, right now. Right? Okay, just don't tell City Girl. Black Beauty Zucchini. Sunflowers. Peas. Oh, peppers. I'm getting all excited. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I love you all, and we'll see you in the next video. So, don't forget to peace out.